Welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and also on YouTube if you're watching this video later on over there for some more Esper Legends. We played this about four days ago and had a really successful run with it. You know, we went 5-0 and it it felt pretty strong. Uh, I know we played like two weaker decks to start off the league, um, and uh, but still it went pretty good. We have more, the main thing that we have here that we didn't have before is we have more removal spells in our sideboard with these moments, cry, mortify. We even have the extra mortify in the main that we didn't have before. It didn't have those, just had more like Thief of Sanity kind of cards and didn't have a, a well-versed sideboard. So uh, we had a, a better, uh, well-put-together sideboard for the last league. Let's see if we still like it. Didn't get to do anything really with Propane Procession last time. We'll see if we still like it, but... In overall, our deck is an Urza's Ruinous Blast deck. We're trying to play all these awesome legendary creatures and planeswalkers and cast Urza's Ruinous Blast, exile all the opponent's permanents, and win from there. Or Vile Offering does some crazy stuff. So let's go ahead and get to the games. It's a little later here. We've had some real long leagues here tonight. Been some good matches. It's always what you like to see. So here we go. Necrolepsy, thank you so much for that resub. Thanks, Gatsby, for getting those hype boats in the channel for that. Sorry, I do my little spiel there. You are amazing. Sub battle countdown, already down to 73. So we did that, our very last, uh, I started this at 150, our very last stream that we did was that sub battle that was a lot of fun everybody really liked it and we're already getting pretty close to doing another one so that will be a lot of fun looking forward to that sun petal grove just go ahead and kill that on their turn so that my Kaya can get it out of their graveyard in case this is an Abzan deck with fine finality. I like a good fight. I hope you've said your goodbyes nice already. Ah, didn't find finished? anything. Funny. That's this is definitely I'm the kind doing. of match for Urza's Ruinous Blast, though. Tilt. Can we just hit our fifth land? Oh, that was a great, great, great turn for the opponent. Because otherwise this Wrath Compassion like, may have been eating that creature. But can we just get this fifth land? Ooh, not even attacking Kaya. Interesting. Fifth land? Oh, baby. Pack your bags and hit the road. Perfect. So we can flash in a Lyra Dawnbringer here if we want to. We could flash in Urza's Ruinous Blast in response to this. I think I'm just going to go ahead and blast. Yeah, let's just go ahead and blast with that on the, on the stack. They would have had a 4 6. I don't know. I, I could have just played Dawnbringer, but. This just means I get to play Teferi. If you show room, let's skip to the good part. Bye bye. Yeah, that was so awesome. Just instant speed, five mana, one-sided one exile, wrath. It's just never gets old. No time for a break. All right, I need I need a land here. I'm getting greedy. I th I think we can get a land, but a land lets us I cast the Dawnbringer. Choice. Yeah, we got that land. your bags and hit the road.
Well, we didn't get to surprise our opponent with the Dawnbringer during combat. But I think that's okay. Hold that thought. So we have a Tezzeret that Karn can go grab. They're at 12. Nothing is ever truly lost. Son, I have constructed your doom. Let's we'll see what they got. Let's see if they have a Vivian over here to take. I'm really good at banishing things. Black Blade's not a very good card. That's why ne none of the Legends decks ever have Black Blade. It's just not... It just costs so much mana, it doesn't... I don't know, it just... Yeah, it just costs a whole lot of mana, and uh, for how standard is, equipment is... It's... You know, not... Not too important. You basically want all your cards to have a big impact on the game on their own, and Black Blade doesn't do anything on its own. It has to have, like, you have to have a creature in play. You have to spend a whole lot of mana and have, like, your creature just to make your creature bigger. But, like, if your opponent's, like, interacting with you and you're, like, trading off all these cards one for one, the Black Blade on its own will do nothing. Yeah. They add another another row, so it goes two, two, two if you have six planeswalkers in. Once you have more than six, uh, then it has like a little arrow button that you have to hit and it moves over to like another row. It only shows like six on the screen at one point, but you can like scroll bet between your planeswalkers because I think we've had like nine or so in play because of like, like Jace, uh, Jace Ultimate makes new ones and stuff like that. All right, this is certainly an Urza's Ruinous Blast matchup. Those come in. We saw there, Kaya honestly isn't that good. As we saw like that game, Kaya didn't do anything. It, like, stops find finality, but that's, like, not worth a card. Could certainly take out Dovin as well. If I want an extra Mortify in. I'm going to take out Dovin for a Mortify. Cool. Yeah, the Memorial of the Unity was basically the, really the one that I wanted, that I thought you should cut. Sunder Shaman, interesting, but yeah, I thought you could trim a little bit on that card. But let's see. Oh, you just played Zertar Goblin plus Gruul Spellbreaker. Plus Skargan Hellkite, plus Lightning Strike, and dealt 12 damage to my opponent. So that's 2, 5, 9, 12. Yeah, for exact lethal. Wow. He had all that stuff in hand. He had all that mana. That is so many things in hand and manas. Yeah, this is a, this is a little bit different of an Esper uh, to fairy deck. It's not it's not quite Esper control. Getting rid of that Jade Light. Ugh, didn't want to see that. Mm -hmm. 
Stop. So they mortify the wrath. Or not? No mortify? Uh, let me block first. Like where we're at. Looking pretty good. Shalai is a problem. Yeah, I guess Shalai is a little bit of a problem. It's like Shalai we get to Vile Offering. Oh, actually, I didn't I didn't realize they had a Golgari Queen in their graveyard. Never mind, we are doing great. Yeah, because we'll just Well, that didn't pan out. Graveyard. <clears throat> oh yeah, this is. We need to move. This is going to be a great turn. This is going to be a great, great turn. All right, so we are going to get their Golgari Queen, kill their Vras, or kill their Shalai. Now have their Vraska. Your life's about to end. Hope you're kill ready. their Branch Walker. Your former assassin is useful sometimes. And. Cast down the Lana World. So their Lana World can't kill my Vraska. I know. So Blast there doesn't get rid of the Shalai, right? Because Shalai is legendary. Keep up the pace. Alive or alive? We could probably sacrifice a land, but then again, we don't need to. So I can turn. Uh, or so, or Izareth can start bringing my other creatures back. Cool cards. All right, so what are we gonna do? We're gonna play. Get Rona and Wrath. Let's see, so th three for Rona, four for Wrath. to see see what we draw you know what I'm not done yet see if there's anything good to surveil over Get Rona. Have Rona exile Raph. And we'll be able to play Raph now. Expendable, except me. So 
certainly considered just having Vraska kill Jade Light. But with us, with us having an extra Izerath. Not playing much longer. This is our last league, but this league will probably take a while. We just started. Still here. I really should have seen that coming. We're gonna be winning this game, but it's just gonna take a little bit. It's no time for a break. Sacrifices must be made mm. from time to time. No. Stop. Don't kill my wrath. I like my wrath. Now, lands are important. I don't want to sacrifice lands. They're important. We have so much mana worth of things that we can do. Hurry! How convenient. An excellent choice. Ooh, give me Karn's Temporal Sundering. No. Like we could be casting cards with Rona. We just have so much stuff we could be doing. I despise tyrants like you. I'm sorry. Are you using that? All right. One and O. Oh. We'll do a quick arena reset here. And okay, you're in the way. No, trying to. <laughs> I can't see the screen. Okay. There we go. Okay. All right. I want to know. Kitty cat butt butt. Do you need to sit on my lap? All right, we had a uh, let's mulligan. Yeah, I don't, I don't really like our chances of hitting land drops and everything. Let's mulligan. Yeah, I like this more. All right, we had a new purchase from me undie, so we are at twelve referrals there towards our next twelve-hour goal. So, Hocus Mocus, thank you so much. And so, it, with every, or if you make a purchase through MeUndies, you do get a 
$5 donation deck available anytime. Instead of what it's usually $20 to have your deck played on stream. So that's an option that never expires if you ever want to take advantage of that. I think I want to just get rid of the Notion Rain. Yeah, Surveil 2, Draw 2. I mean, well, Flying Death Touch Hexproof is really annoying. Let's get rid of Surveil 2, Draw 2. Okay, there you go. That's a good replacement. Took out Sunder Shaman for a Domri. Well, the Grand Arbiter was a card I was relying on here. Well timed Thought Erasure from the opponent. Good news, they're sitting on three lands. Not able to play anything. Tilt. Well, now I know I can just throw down the Wrath and not get it Essence Scattered, but then, okay, yeah. I was going to say, but then it, then the Hostage Shaker is the problem, but now we just drew a cast down to, to take out the Hostage Shaker. Hawkeye singing along to the song. No, oh, Raphael. Come back. There you go. Welcome back. Gotta keep our Ninja Turtles here. Oh no! You crafted the wrong Domri when the set came out? <laughs> oh no. Oh man, that would be oh, that would be such a tilt. You accidentally craft the Planeswalker deck version of the Planeswalker you want. Barrier of Bones. That card is bad. Bad to the... Well, alright, I, I, won't, I won't go there. Spell Pierce. I would like to pay the two. Getting rid of the cast down, looking for a more impactful card. Down, down. Okay, good. It wasn't wasn't awful that had to use a... Or that you accidentally used a wild card. Oh no! Mission briefing. Oh wait, no removal. Phew. Alright, so... The best card they can get for sure is Notion Rain. They don't have the mana for Notion Rain. So what else? Mission briefing just doesn't do anything else. So they should just play the Demir Informant right now. And just wait a turn. Wait, wait to be able to briefing plus notion ring. They surveilled two. They kept one on top. They kept. Hmm. They kept that swamp. Could have just informant keep swamp. Next turn, briefing plus notion rain. All right. So they kept this card. Yeah, they, whatever that card was, they kept that. All right, so we...
Go, Kai, go. Dispelling phantasms makes me feel good. Good riddance to bad rubbish. So we'll keep Wrath back to protect Kaya. They're at nine. So maybe I should just attack. Let me go. So Profane Procession is really good against blue black decks. Bring that in. Uh, besides that, we'll take out the Kayas. And maybe have some Duress Negate kind of stuff. This looks good enough. I'm not sure if I need both the cast downs and the mortify. If I want more blast, if I want less sundering. I don't know. I think this is probably going to be good enough. Let's just go with this. Temporal Sundering costs one mana less than Nexus of Fate and also bounces something. Which is, the bounce is, you know, that's not nothing. Getting to bounce stuff is cool. And seven's a lot of mana. Six isn't still a lot of mana, but less than seven. So that's why I got Temporal Sundering instead of Nexus of Fate. Eyes of Rift. <laughs> yep. And Temporal Sundering is a legendary sorcery, so it's cooler. True. Having Dovin make some one ones and then having Dovin get attacked by like a one four is not exactly what I want. JRC bringing the value town to the stream. Welcome to Value Town, JRC. Getting all those awesome emotes. That's some value for just one sub. Hmm. Alright, dove in. Now you can do something. I look forward to seeing your mistakes. Got your red tie now. Bring our sub battle countdown down to 72. Okay. Where'd you go? Right, Full Tie Sanity up there on YouTube. Um, take out. It's the small things that matter. That probably has a counter spell, right? Oh well. Yep. Probably not too necessary for me to cast that. <laughs> the singer is really multi-talented. 
Nobody's perfect. Yeah, he can do a lot of things. Not even me. Where'd the Goblet Shrine go? Where'd it go? There it is. Going over here? Oh, I can't go that way. Can go this way? Nope. This way. No, there's no Primeval Glorious Rebirth in the deck. I replaced it with Karn's Temporal Sundering. Had it in the deck at first. But... Too many times I just have it in my hand and don't want to be doing anything. Not just a gadget, but ingenuity. Not really any plans for the new Boros Angel from War of the Spark. Feather the Redeemed. I'm not really high on that card at TBH. Let's firing off those spell pierces. You know, so to take to take advantage of Feather the Redeemed, you need to play, of course, a good amount of instants and sorceries that can target it. Otherwise, you're just looking at a three mana three four flying, and three mana three four flying isn't bad at all, of course, but it's not that amazing and constructed. I want to ultimate this Dovin. Alright, looks like we're blasting this turn, just getting rid of the Spritters and the Eldest Reborn. Yeah, you'll get Vile Offering back, yep. If you would just, I mean, that'd be destroying your own feathers, but then yeah, you'd get it back. It's not, it's not like when it's in the graveyard, if that's what you mean. Ooh. Not not the target when it's in the graveyard. If you target it when it's in play, you get it back. It's the small things that matter. Just getting rid of that Eldritch Reborn. I know I could have put Tezzeret into play. Alright, that's that's perfectly fine. Now we'll go get Tezzeret. And I guess I'll down tick the Dovin now. So we'll play, you know, so they're bouncing Dovin we'll, before we could ultimate. So now we'll just, we have the mana because I didn't let, didn't let that Yawgmoth's Vile Offering discard this land. Crucial. So we'll uh, kill Dream Eater, get Tezzeret, make a couple Thopters. Yeah, still my plan. Whatever you I don't enjoy They're seeing statistically this likely to fail. But I'll make an exception for you. Perfection is attainable. It is the ideal subordinate. Ever thought of having a day of the week where you do some drafting with chat? Need how to learn how to bat. Need to learn how to. Not really. I think I like just kind of sticking to constructed. I while I do like drafting and drafting is a lot of fun. I I really enjoy drafting. I usually have a lot less viewers for drafting. I think drafting is the kind of thing that's that's really fun to do, but not really that fun to watch. This is just a small example of my genius. This will keep an eye on. Do I want to triple block a hostage taker? 
I hadn't decided that yet. I wanted to keep the option open, so I didn't. The problem with the triple block is two of my thopters die, which is bad for Tezzeret. Do I want Dovin to die, though? Yeah, Dovin can die. Dovin doesn't really do anything. All right. Not triple blocking. Letting Dovin die so that I can keep three artifacts in play. So Tezzeret's zero will draw two cards now because we have three or more artifacts. Yeah, the actual drafting part and the deck construction, those are both fun. But then, yeah, the playing the game, the These playing the limited games. An anomaly, not to um, be repeated. Like watching those. Let's see how you respond to genius. Hold that thought. What's that? Let's see how you respond to genius. Does that mean, like, if you start. If like somebody's like name calling you, they're calling you genius. How do you respond? Hey, genius, get over here. Is that what Teferi's talking about? Let's see how you were. I wonder if my opponent's gonna attack in with the hostage taker. Oh, don't do it, opponent, don't do it. You just saw my hand. You just saw we have a Ninja Turtle. This one right here. No, don't don't attack with that. You think you've won? Right. Brilliant. Drawing four cards easy. a turn is pretty good. All right, we are two and O. Oh. Let's keep it going, Esper Legends. Going on to match number three. This is the kind of hand that we'll, we will keep and we will probably lose. We're looking at like as Kanta on the third turn on the draw. Ugh. Man, these 3D planes walk. These look awesome. But like, basically the reason why I'm thinking about keeping is that we have versus ruinous blast. If we can go like one of these four drops into blast, that can even if we're you know we can be really far behind, but blast can uh, win the game for us. So this this is the reason why, like we have four drop into blast, and if we can find lands, even if we don't do anything on turn one, two, or three too much, you know you can just turn threes like Ascanta. Yeah, let's we'll just keep that because that can certainly beat a lot of decks. Hmm. Not the deck I want to see whenever we know we're going to have a really slow hand. I was hoping more for like, I don't know, like a green deck. <laughs> yeah, there's... <laughs> yeah, Jeldar, there's a Zerunus Blast is sweet. Can't be mad at it. I think I've probably cast this card. I don't know if I've cast it more than anybody else, but I've cast it a ton. I don't know, maybe Jolner, maybe you've cast this card more than me. I don't know. Is... Okay, so. Opponents sideboarding like we are Esper Control. 
We need extra moment of craving, cry, mortify, um, a whole bunch of negates. I don't know about duresses. So I want to take out Karn, Vile Offering, Temporal Sundering, Rona. Dovin. Dovin does say gain a life, but making 1-1s one against Chain Wheeler deck. I do like Kaya. I like Izareth. If I... Yeah, Tezzeret's not really that useful either, I suppose. I need to take out a Tezzy, get a Duress in here. Blast does get rid of uh, Experimental Frenzy. Uh, which which I guess we have Mortifies for, too. All right, yeah, we're playing a bunch of Mortifies and then Teferis. That's probably enough. All right, let's get another Duress in here. All right, let's try this. At least our hand's a lot faster than last time. Leza. By a lot faster, I was, I was referring to the shock lands in particular. I really hope my opponent does not kill the Zav here. <clears throat> because then we can play Shalai. Shalai protects Lazav. So they have to kill Shalai. And then after they kill Shalai, Shalai's in the graveyard, and then we can turn Lazav into Shalai. Okay, well. They just killed Lazav. Well, good news is they can only play one of those two cards next turn. They only get Steamkin or Risk Factor, which they cannot cast Risk Factor, so they're going to have to cast Steamkin. And I, I like that they fired off that Skewer the Critics. That's one less burn spell for them to have. Yeah, they can't even cast Risk, risk Factor, so that's good. That card's just exiled. So they might as well go Steamkin, which that's also good for me. We... Lyra Dawnbringer. Let's charge up this Lyra. We haven't used our, our charge draw yet. There's two Lyras in here. Let's charge it up. Lyra... Dawnbringer. Lyra. Dawnbringer. Didn't work, didn't work. Talk Chain Whirler? No, let's drop. Right on. No time for a break. I'm not blocking, so we're taking five, going to seven. Oh, they're just attacking Teferi for five? That makes sense. That makes sense. <clears throat> I won't let you win. 
I guess I should have just attacked with my Shalai since I'm not blocking with it. Because I, I don't want them to get value out of this Lightning Strike at all. So, like, if they want to play Viashino and, and Lightning Strike, yes, yeah, so like, this Lightning Strike does nothing now. So, down to two cards in hand. Because the Strike can only target the Shalai. Yeah, Teferi did, a, Teferi did his job. Replace, gain five life, replace itself. That's pretty good. Draw a card, gain five life. If all my cards said, gain five life, draw a card. That'd be pretty good. I guess that would cost five mana, though. <laughs> yeah, opponent is very confused. There you go. Should have attacked last turn with Shalai. They'd be at 15. We'd be able to attack them down to 12 right now. We'd be like actually racing our opponent. But we'd have just attacked last turn. down to five, but again, our, our opponent can't burn us. They need to burn Shalai first. We need to find this Dawnbringer. Where, where does Dawnbringer be at? Ugh, Flame of Keld? Uh-oh. Um... Okay, okay. If only I would have attacked for that three earlier. That could certainly cost us. Could be at six. And could have my lethal attackers next turn. there, block there, go to one. We got nine power. Is that a, is that a blank? Woo. Just eked it out. Barely. Woo. Barely eked that out. All right, we did it. That was close. Do I want to keep a blast in here? I don't think so. All right, here we go. Yeah, I probably I probably need a, a blast. No. All right. No, we were on the draw for game three. We just won that game too. Hallowed Fountain, Glacial Fortress, no black mana. Opponent snap capped their hand. Well, I do love Raph. Lyra. And these are good removal. Like, our hand's awesome. 
It's just if we can play our spells. Maybe we're gonna keep it. We have a lot of not so great stuff against red. So I like our hand. All we need to do is draw lands. I think we can draw lands. All right, land dance. Ooh, land dance work. It worked. It's already working. Take this lightning strike. Taking the light up lightning strike means they have to waste their whole turn on light up the stage here. get me it does two for one me but zero damage Wasting all these skewers. Just wasting all the skewers. Now they won't be able to skewer Dawnbringer. Raphael. Kapashan. Boom goes the dynamite. Looks like we are going to be 3 0. Because I don't really know what our opponent can draw. You know, they draw like Frenzy. We mortify it. But now we'll have Negate back up for the Lyra also, so. Let's go ahead and mortify this chain whirler. Keep negate available. Ah, fight with fire. Yeah, if they were just randomly playing fight with fire, that could have been the card they could have drawn. Not attacking. I didn't have the mana for Raft of Fashion opponent. No, not tucking, because tucking I takes out my negate. I'm gonna just draw and if if Jack over here wants to deal damage to my Teferi, you know, whatever. You wasted all those skewer the critics. Look, we're we're back to 18. Just don't cast those skewers. You should probably cast the lava coil first. Let's see if lava coil resolves. But didn't matter. <laughs> Teferi is now named Shannon.
Shannon, the soccer mom. That's the fairy. <laughs> oh no, Teferi's the the one soccer dad that all the moms like. Okay. Shannon, oh, Shannon was Shalai. Okay. Shannon was Shalai. And Karen was Lyra, was Karen. <laughs> it's very always has time to catch all his kids' games. I think Shalai makes a pretty good Shannon, and Lyra makes a pretty good Karen. Those work pretty well. Double history? Jeez. All right, Izareth is a is a good card for us to see here. We need we need our legendary creature, a Planeswalker, in play uh, before we get to Urza's Ruinous Blast. And Izareth does a good job of blocking this 2-2 this turn, or, you know, like, not letting them attack with a 2-2. But we're going to take 3 here down to 14. Are you just going to use a removal spell on Izareth? Uh, rude. That may kill us. Because now we're down to 12. I guess next turn we're taking 11. We need to draw a legendary creature or planeswalker there. We did not. Yeah, that's it's likely game, I guess. Uh, Lyra Dawnbringer is about our only out here now. We needed our opponent to not draw a removal spell. Even Lyra, yeah, Lyra would have saved us, but. All right, more blast, more cry, more moment, more mortify, less Kaya, less vile offering. Yeah, we'll just replace blast. Yeah, blast will just replace those. Temporal sundering, same. And Dovin can, yeah, Dovin can annoy the opponent, make a couple blockers and stuff. I don't know, I kinda like all these. I guess I guess Rona doesn't block too well. Alright, Rona you can go. Getting double history of, of Benalia is basically like getting a double rainbow. Just all your dreams come true. It is angelic, even. Oh, I should play Godless Shrine. Better chance of playing Izer at the next turn. Double Vanguard Bloodfast. Let's take the blood fast because then it'll play a vanguard this turn. And then. Uh, do I want to take the other vanguard? What's this? What's this silly immortal sun doing over here? I mean, so immortal sun's going to be really hard for me to beat, but it costs six mana. I mean, the game's going to go long.
This is Hey 19 by Steely Dan. Really? That's twice. Like, thought raise of their hand, we're like, okay, we're gonna play this other creature here. And they just draw the removal spell. Alright, well, Urza's Ruinous Blast is awesome if we can get this land. We have to draw a land here. Draw a land, please! Come on, deck! Ugh! I would have just kept this land, this other, this glacial fortress on top. We would have drawn glacial fortress and then drawn the blast. Oh yeah, DGM. This Steely Dan's one of my favorite bands. It's a great one. It's a great one. Three and one. We were that close. Man, twice. The f game one. Like, our Izareth is gonna, like, all we need to do is just have Izareth sit there for the blast and we win. And by win, I mean stabilize and probably win. And then game two, just wait just a second before we draw the Mortify so that we can have the Shalai block for a minute. But no, both games, after Thought Erasuring, drew the Mortify, the removal spell. Needed. Yuck. <laughs> well, we have been playing against. Yeah, this league's been faster, but we've been playing against uh, aggro decks. I will we just played against mono red and then deck with all the Danto vanguards and. I mean, I could have taken what I could have taken one Danto vanguard with the first one, and then I don't know something else that was like killing us or whatever with the other one. I can benefit from another's success. So I think Kaya isn't too important. Not not nearly as important as Karn or Teferi. So that's why I was willing to throw. Kaya out there right then. More cards. I'll make use of that later. I constantly seek to innovate. This game's going pretty good for us. If we can get this temporal sundering to resolve. Whew. Main phase, Chemister's Insight. Must be looking for lands. Well, this is... Well chosen. So if I plus Dovin, Dovin goes to 5, go to Sundering, then plus Dovin again, Dovin's at 7. Or I could go minus, go to 2, and have... Two one ones out there. These contraptions have their uses. What else do we find? We have Lazav and Lyra. Oh. Seek to innovate. 
So I guess I could have, I guess I could have taken the Mortify, because then Binding, Binding gets rid of the Dovin though, uh, but we get to blast away the, the Binding. But you know, that's, that's pretty whatever. I'm gonna keep Dovin around. I don't think I need to ultimate. This is, I know greedy. I guess we should always pick this up first, though. We're just getting a land anyway. Always, always get lands with Karn. Good old double cast down. Basically a dead card against us. Well, now, now completely dead. <laughs> it's like the only thing you can cast down. I'm known for my excellent timing. Oh, you are no match for my foresight. All right, what do we got? Thought Erasure, Tezzeret, and Wrath. Let's just triple double check, make sure that's not an absorb that I just drew. Alright, go grab our own Teferi. The time has come. Get rid of their Teferi. If you show remorse, you need to slow down. Control on the control deck. Nah, my treasure. My treasure. Let's skip to the good part. Super friends assembled. It's the small things that matter. Go get Lazav. Now we'll pick up. Good choice. This will shock. Have our opponent. Deal some damage to us. Manually tap five. I don't. I don't care how you tap five. Just tap five lands. Thank you. Give me this Lyra back. Because I am working right now, GEC. All right, so the fairy's back. So this is like the corpse counter Sorry, means I'm that late. whenever it leaves the we battlefield, it gets exiled instead of putting it anywhere else. How's this? What do we got over here? A hallowed Fountain. All right, we'll start with you, A Karen. Choice. Exclamation point deck. We'll get you there. You know what? I'm not done yet. Ah, getting laggy, doing too many things. Oh, I'm just plus Stoven.
This is hardly my worst defeat. So basically, the reason to send all three at Teferi is like a Thopta. I'm inspired by a good assault. The reason is, if our opponent has a Mortify in one of these two, they Mortify the... Yeah, see, if I just attack with Lyra, they Mortify Lyra and doesn't get done. If we attack with the two, they can Mortify one of these two and Teferi doesn't die. So to make sure Teferi dies, even through one removal spell, gotta attack Teferi with all three. No, I've not gotten to use Profane Procession. It's good against... Uh, the Grixis, like Grixis decks, is it Drakes? Basically, any like Niv Mizzet deck, uh, you know, like those kind of decks that don't remove enchantments too well but play creatures, uh, the, those kind of thing, those kind of decks. Um, yeah, is it Drakes? Uh, any blue black deck, blue red decks. That's that's really where it's the best against. All right, so blast coming out now. Cast down. Well, I could certainly see. Let's get. We're getting more Mortifies in here. Certainly see my opponent coming in with Diva Sandies, but we get there are four duress, four negate, a couple Kaya out, a couple let's see, Temporal Sundering, even though it's really good. The games that we're losing, we're not gonna be able to temporal sundering whenever we if we don't have permanence out there. Kind of the same thing with Vile offering. Play one vial offering. Let's go with one Izareth. Okay, let's try it. I don't, I don't really love these Vile Offerings, but I do like Lazava Dovin for the first two turns. Whoa. Okay, I, I guess I need to look at my my mana a little more. <laughs> I thought we had a blue land. Oh, always had it. Never didn't have it, obviously. Ascanta is the better card to play, but Ascanta is kind of playing into Negate. Which Negate is a likely card for our opponent to have. Now we get to Duress plus Ascanta. Aha! Played around that negate perfectly. Aha! Ascanta in play. All right, 18 more turns, Lazav. You can do this. Ooh. I look forward to I your benefit from another success. Second. Yeah, going with the inside here. Seeing things suffer, but I'll make an exception for you. But Derasure. These little creatures are right, double contempt. Kaya's wrath. So I, I think I just take the Kaya's wrath. I don't know. Maybe I take a mass manipulation. No, I think I take the Kaya's wrath. Kind of cheese them out with these. 
these little one ones and one threes and stuff like that. Ooh, that's a good card. It's a pretty good card. Opponent's wanting to use that contempt on the Dovin. If I ticked out, they may have. Oh, no, we're just gonna have all these crappy little creatures here. See how they do. By a bunch of one ones. Don't give them anything good to contempt or mass manipulate. I like having the Dovin in the graveyard too for both Rona and for Yogmoss Vile offering. But they got lots of cards now, so. Okay, here they go. They start playing stuff. I can no hurry! Okay, can we draw land, please? Come on, draw land, draw land, draw land. One land, any land. Are they gonna contempt? No, okay, yeah. Ugh, didn't get the land. So I wanted the land so I could vile offering, kill the Teferi, and, you know, with negate back up. I'll play Karn with Negate Backup. Could honestly see doing the minus two with Karn, but I think land drops are going to be pretty important for us. So let's take up. You may regret that choice. There we go, land drop, that's good. Stop that. Now. Let's skip to the good part. Did we put another negate to the bottom? Oh, we did. Gross. And they kept their card on top. Wow, what a draw. Do they have double counterspell? Hmm. Are you certain of your decision? Hope they don't have double counter spell.
I resolve pretty quickly. Boom. Let's slow this down. Hold that thought. I really should have seen that coming. I don't know. I, I really wanted to make sure that Teferi was dead. <laughs> sure, I could have just sent three things at Teferi and one at at them, but oh well. You just let me know if you're up for round two. This is, this is a Clint. Just saw that, I was like, oh hey, opponent's just playing Clint. Alright, let's go ahead and attack here. I didn't even click resolve there. I was like thinking about like as Kanta and stuff, I was thinking about it and Hawkeye sitting over here and Hawkeye's tail just whapped my uh, mouse and clicked the resolve. That's pretty funny. Ah, stop, all right, you better stop. <laughs> okay, this is, okay, just here, get over here. I can't click through my turn. Oh, I don't have a Teferi left anymore. Even with my insight, I didn't foresee this. How convenient. An excellent choice. I forgot our punt. Contempted the Teferi, so did not have the Teferi, so I was I kind of playing the Ronin to the play Teferi, Keep but... Up the pace. We'll just go grab their Teferi with our Vile Offering. <laughs> Cats do like mice, that is true. That is a very, very fair point. Not even negate and dove in. It's hard to be a genius no surrounded okay. by lesser minds. <laughs> we need to move quickly. Good choice. Here, attack. Heck, a cough in my face. Eyes are at school. All right, so just keeping the eyes earth on top, we'll just exile it with Rona and play it next turn. You know, basically draw that card with Rona. Draw a card. You know what? I'm not done yet. You give me negate back. Nothing is ever truly lost. True. We lost. Uh, you go here. Increased volume. Welcome to the channel. As I should say, welcome back. That is five months of amazingness. Hmm. 
Yeah, don't kill my Rona. Tick up. This is no mere trinket. Anything cool to turn this Lazav into? Nah. Tezzeret. <clears throat> That's a battle for Sokka. <laughs> Man, this deck's sweet. Ugh, rude. Ooh, took the Teferi. No respect for Tezzeret. Just a gadget, but ingenuity. No time for a break. Read sixteen cards in library. Do you really think you can keep up with cold logic? Will always win. Decisive action is needed. Decisive action. Is needed. How many negates have I cast so far? One, two, three, three. All right, so there's one more negate in there somewhere. Did I take up Dovin? I don't know. Sweet. Basically, I just didn't take up Karn anymore. I don't want to mill myself out, kind of thing. All right. We are four and one. Out, Esper to Esper. And yeah, we're four and one. Y'all know what that means. It is time for the final boss. We have, so far, we are winless against final bosses on the night yeah i bet this yeah i would think this version of esper could work in best of one ranked yeah i would probably take out honestly i'd probably take out rona for another for another mortify i think i'd recommend doing that but besides that it could work hey eisenf Eisenf with that resub. Got to get those final boss emotes. Welcome, welcome back. We are at 71 there. Get the final boss. <laughs> boss time. The stage has been lit up. All right, another Viashino Chain Whirler and Strike. I kind of want to just take the Strike. It's definitely not Viachino. It's either Striker Chain Whirler. Um, yeah, see, like, Strike kills Shalai. Which is bad for me. I don't know. Maybe I should just be taking Chain Whirler.
All right, we need land, land. We need two lands in a row. We need land Shalai, and then land Dawnbringer. Yeah, I like taking Strike, because yeah, Strike plus the Firebrand kill the, kills the Shalai, and I really don't want Shalai to die. So yeah, I, I'm glad what we took. But come on, land. Come on, land. Come on, land. Land? Oh, seriously? Come on, deck. Seriously? Come on, deck. Alright, at least our opponent doesn't know about all the stuff we got going on over here. What did we do last time? I think we did stuff that looked like this. I think I ditched Karn. I think this is what we looked this is what it looked like last time. I felt like we had a second duress in there, but I'm not seeing any card to take out. Man, we're a twenty six land deck and we couldn't find we kept a three lander, we couldn't draw a fourth land. Ugh. We had Thought Erasure to look and Search Rose Kanta to look. And yet and we were on the draw, and we still couldn't find a fourth land in our 26 land deck. Brew. Tull. Our right, hand is Dees to Dees minus. Double Vyashino. I don't like seeing that. Mm. I can't get rid of that card, but we don't have lands. More like Steam can't. Oh man, I'm just it's getting late, you know. You know it's getting late when I'm just run away with these bad jokes. Bad puns. Ooh, land. Those are this time we drew the two lands when we needed them. So do I play Dawnbringer? Yes. Yes. The answer is yes. More bad jokes? <laughs> okay. Um... Dante West, thank you so much for that Twitch Prime sub. Getting those hype votes in the chat. So, even if our opponent has enough removal to kill Lyra Dawnbringer, then the Lazav can turn into a Lyra. We have nothing else for Lazav to do. Do we attack? Yeah, yeah, I got that new three month badge. Uh, should we bring the dawn? How much is our opponent attacking for? I don't know, not that much. We got a four turn clock going here. Rude. Just 
draw spells. They haven't even drawn a single spell this whole time. They've drawn eight creatures. Now see, this is only attack for seven. So we lost two life, but then they lost five life. Now with the second Chain Whirler, I'm at no attack. Yeah, I'm definitely at no attack now with second Chain Whirler. They've drawn nine creatures. I wonder if they've boarded out all their spells. Shall I? Ooh. Teferi. What's Teferi's name? I am not going to sit this one out. We need to move quickly. This is... Wait, this is... This is Karen? Or is Karn Karen? I know Shalai was Shannon. Teferi is Tiffany? Sizing up these attacks. Attacking in. We got the Negates. Lazav is everyone. Is it the Multifarious. Lazav kind of seems like a Larry to me. Lazav could be a Larry. Hmm. Yeah, let's just counter that thing. I don't have any sweepers, really, besides Cry of the Carnarium in right now. Time for plan B. As soon as I think of one. run out of lands eventually. Maybe. We got 10 lands this time. Our deck was like, hey, you didn't like last time how we couldn't find a land? Well, here you go. Here's all of the lands. So Lazav dies, trading Firebrand and Viashino for Lazav. But Teferi stays alive, so we get to draw an extra card. Don't really know why there's no, like, Steamkin attack at all. Let's skip to the good part. <laughs> Five lands and Tiffany. Hey, Tiffany's going to take over here. Choose your attackers. None. All right, game three. V final boss. Opponent drew one spell, that one lightning strike, the entire time. They had... Six lands, nine creatures, and one spell. Oh, Lazav is Lisa? Okay. Yeah, Lazav could be a Lisa.
let's keep kill all the creatures that's the plan I think the light up the stage was the first game I don't think they had light up the stage that game I could be wrong The Exile All Spell, so, yeah, Ruinous Blast cost, you know, cost five mana. We have to have a legendary creature or Planeswalker in play already at the five mana and then cast it. It's it's kind of hard to pull it off uh, whenever you're going to be, if you're, like, behind, you know, in, until you stabilize. And so I'm not really trying to play the spell that's good after I have stabilized. I'm trying to play yeah so I'm trying to play just keep the keep the deck with lots of cards that help me stabilize ow ow lands Lands. Ugh. Those are, that's really good. Like those, you know, because those are just repeated sources of a da of damage. So if I Kaya, to exile, then they can attack Kaya and kill Kaya. Probably need the life gain that Kaya can have later on. Oh, that was that was really good having those lava runners there. That was like the best possible turn for them with the two mana was the lava runners. Wow. Everything cost one except for the that one pyromancer. Everything else cost one. That was real impressive. Just could not get past the final boss today. We just played against three final bosses that had really impressive hands there. But as for Legends, speaking of impressive, the deck worked really well again, overall. And we lost to, you know, that mono red there. What was our other loss? Was our other loss also mono red? Were both of them mono red? Maybe. I think we might have played against mono red three times. Well, Rona is cool and does stuff. I think we should probably take Rona out, honestly. And get another Mortify in here. And then put a second Moment of Craving in the sideboard over the Profane Procession. Yeah. Yeah, we're just not going to actually do stuff with that Profane Procession. Yeah. Alright, I think this is the... What the version that I'll try the next time. We'll make those two little changes the next time we play Esper Legends. But yeah, fun deck. Fun deck and good league as well. So if you're watching this video later on on YouTube, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. But thanks for watching some Esper Legends, and I will see you for the next video.